Hello folks, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's the 20th of August 2013. I'm going to give you a quote now. I wrote this in the English newspaper, the Daily, God, I don't know, Mirror, I suspect, um, on the 6th of August 2001. This is what I wrote in a national newspaper. <clears throat> Saturn in Gemini is telling us to restructure our systems of communication, whilst Pluto in Sagittarius is transforming our attitude towards truth, philosophy and religion. The opposition of these planets occurs every 35 years, and during this time, intensification and hopefully resolution of religious conflict worldwide, especially in Israel, Northern Ireland and Afghanistan, can be expected, whilst extremism will rise in the short term. The opposition hits the USA horoscope powerfully and immense changes in American political, financial and even constitutional circles, circles are more than possible, even probable. Secrets and lies will be exposed with individuals demanding far greater accountability, commitment and truth across the board, both professionally and personally. It's time to revolutionise our concepts about honesty, religion and communication. Don't we all deserve a better future? I wrote that 12 years ago. A month later, 9-11 happened and I got into all types of trouble, both positive and, and challenging. 12 years on. 12 years on from forecasting dramatic change for America in August 2001. I've now got the American chart in front of me. <coughs> I'm using the Sibley chart, 10 past 5 in the evening in Philadelphia on the 4th of July, 1776. And yeah, all the stuff in the seventh house of relationships in the American chart, America desperately wants to be loved. It desperately wants to be the partner of the world. But at the same time, it's born or America was born with the strong square from the sun to Saturn. And it does seem that this is the authoritarian, the disciplinarian, the uh, imposed structure, boundaries and restrictions that go with this aspect do seem to come out in America's public image. With Saturn in the 10th house, it is seen by the world as being a place of discipline, order, <clears throat> authority, but hopefully also structure, hard work and discipline. To add to the problems, America was born with a Mercury-Pluto opposition, both being retrograde, Mercury retrograde and Pluto retrograde. And this does bring, at least in an adult human, the potential for a latent degree of phobia, paranoia, mental insecurity and fear when young, translating into an in-depth psychological insight into human behavioural characteristics when old. In the chart of a country, I'm guessing here that this is seen as a deep rooted insecurity around trusting one's partners, but at the same time with a desire to have some type of communication control over most forms of literal content, whether spoken, written or, or other. On the positive side, there's a Really nice conjunction of Venus and Jupiter in the seventh house of relationships. And here we see things around America's foreign aid program where it gives away so much food and so much help to the underdeveloped countries of the world. There's a lovely sextile from Mars to Chiron, particularly Mars in the seventh house in Gemini, giving America that agreed, uh, capacity for verbal and communicative projectability in a way that does hopefully encompass a more holistic pattern. There's a strong trine between Pluto and the Midheaven, suggesting that America does try and come across in a way that's seen as being deep, psychologically fair, balanced, even penetrative. And of course, America's got Sagittarius rising. Never the most subtle, diplomatic or tactful, but generally honest, even with Uranus opposite the Ascendant. Basically, this is a chart where America is never going to be sure of whom it can trust on a partnership level. And it's always looking for new partners. Problem is, next year, Pluto opposite Sun. 
Pluto square Saturn, Uranus opposite Saturn, Uranus square Sun. Next year, hmm. Well, the basic pattern of America's chart is that of structured and informed communication and transparency with caution. Next year, everything changes. But I'll have a look at the transits and progressions to America's chart next time. And then the one after that, I will have a look at the horoscope of Mr. B. Obama. So tune in for the next one. Catch you later, folks. Bye now.